Have you ever wondered why the Mona Lisa, a simple portrait of a woman, has captivated the world for centuries? This unassuming painting, modest in size but grand in reputation, has been the subject of intrigue and fascination since the moment it was first unveiled. The Mona Lisa, immortalized by the masterful hand of Leonardo da Vinci, is more than just a portrait. Her enigmatic smile, her elusive gaze, and her timeless beauty have sparked countless debates and theories. Who was she? What secrets does her smile hide? From scholars to artists, from historians to everyday art lovers, everyone has a theory, a perspective, a unique interpretation of her mystery. And it's not just her enigmatic smile that intrigues us. Her worldwide fame is also a testament to the enduring allure of the Mona Lisa. She transcends borders, cultures, and languages, uniting us all in our shared fascination. So what makes this seemingly ordinary piece of art so extraordinary? Let's delve into its history. The Mona Lisa, also known as La Gioconda, wasn't always a global sensation. The journey of this art piece, like any great story, began humbly. This masterpiece was born in the creative hands of Leonardo da Vinci, a man whose name is synonymous with genius and innovation. A man of many talents, Leonardo was not just a painter, but also a scientist, an inventor, a musician, and a writer. Yet, it is his prowess in painting that gifted the world with the Mona Lisa. The inception of the Mona Lisa can be traced back to the early 16th century, around the year 1500. It all started when a Florentine merchant, Francesco del Giocondo, commissioned Leonardo to paint a portrait of his wife, Lisa Gherardini. Little did Francesco know that this painting of his beloved wife would one day captivate the world with its allure and mystery. Leonardo, being a perfectionist, took his time with the painting. He worked on it for several years, adding layers upon layers of thin glazes to create the soft transitions of light and shadow that give the Mona Lisa her lifelike appearance. The painting was so dear to Leonardo that he carried it with him wherever he traveled, continuously refining and perfecting it until his death. In the early years of its life, the Mona Lisa was far from famous. It was just another portrait, albeit beautifully painted, in a world full of art. It was kept in various royal collections after Leonardo's death, quietly passing down through generations. This early period of the Mona Lisa's life was marked by obscurity and anonymity. Its true potential was yet to be recognized. Yet, beneath the layers of oil paint, under the enigmatic smile of Lisa Gherardini, was a masterpiece waiting to be discovered. A masterpiece that would inspire countless artists, ignite a thousand debates, and mesmerize millions of viewers. Little did anyone know, this portrait was destined to become one of the most recognized pieces of art in the world. The Mona Lisa didn't remain in Italy, her journey was as fascinating as her enigmatic smile. The painting, much like its creator Leonardo da Vinci, was destined for a life of travel and change. Da Vinci had carried this masterpiece with him for years, perfecting and refining it, a testament to his relentless pursuit of perfection. Eventually, the winds of fate carried both the artist and his masterpiece from the sunny coasts of Italy to the grand chateaus of France. Enter King Francis I, a monarch known for his love of arts and his patronage of some of the most celebrated artists of his time. His fascination with the Mona Lisa led him to acquire the painting, adding it to his royal collection. Imagine the awe and reverence the courtiers must have felt, seeing the Mona Lisa displayed amongst the grandeur of the French court. The painting had found a new home, but its journey was far from over. As the centuries rolled on, the Mona Lisa witnessed the rise and fall of dynasties, the transformation of societies, and the evolution of art itself. From the royal collection of King Francis I, the painting eventually found its way into the French National Collection. And it was here in the heart of Paris that the Mona Lisa found its final resting place, the Louvre. The Louvre, a former royal palace turned museum, became the Mona Lisa's permanent home in the late 18th century. Here, she was displayed amongst the finest works of art, admired by millions of visitors from around the world. Yet, it was not just the grandeur of the Louvre that elevated the Mona Lisa to her iconic status. It was also the mystery and intrigue that surrounded her. The enigmatic smile, the elusive identity of the sitter, and the masterful technique of da Vinci all contributed to her allure. Her journey was just beginning, and so was her rise to fame. As we delve further into the story of the Mona Lisa, we'll discover how this iconic painting rose to stardom and why it continues to captivate us, centuries after it was first created. The Mona Lisa's fame didn't happen overnight. 
it was a gradual process fueled by fascinating events. Let's delve into the intriguing factors that have contributed to the rise of this masterpiece to stardom. Among these, one event stands out as a pivotal moment in history that catapulted the Mona Lisa into the international spotlight, its theft in 1911. Yes, you heard it right, the Mona Lisa was stolen. The audacious theft was carried out by an Italian handyman named Vincenzo Perugia, who believed that the painting should be returned to Italy. The disappearance of the painting from the Louvre Museum created a media frenzy. Newspapers around the world covered the story extensively, and the public was captivated by the audacious crime and the ongoing hunt for the thief. This event, while unfortunate, served to elevate the Mona Lisa's status further. The theft and the subsequent media coverage made the painting the most recognized and sought-after work of art in the world. It was no longer just a masterpiece by Leonardo da Vinci, but a symbol of national pride, intrigue, and mystery. Two years later, in 1913, the painting was found in Italy and returned to the Louvre. The return of the Mona Lisa was met with great fanfare. People flocked to the museum to catch a glimpse of the returned masterpiece. It was a triumphant homecoming that further solidified the painting's place in the public consciousness. But the painting's fame didn't stop there. The Mona Lisa continues to be one of the most visited, most written about, and most parodied works of art in the world. Its influence extends beyond the art world, permeating popular culture and becoming a symbol of the enduring power of art. With her return, the Mona Lisa was no longer just a painting. She had become a global icon. The Mona Lisa's legacy isn't just about a painting, it's about a woman's enigmatic smile that has intrigued the world. This mesmerizing expression has become a symbol of mystery, inspiring countless theories and debates about her true identity and the secret behind that smile. Some researchers propose that the woman was Lisa Gherardini, a Florentine woman of humble origins. Others suggest that she may be Isabella of Aragon, a noblewoman of high standing. Yet, some believe she is no specific individual at all, but rather an idealized representation of feminine beauty during the Renaissance. The enigma extends to her smile. Is it a smile of contentment, a smirk of amusement, or a grimace of discomfort? Some psychologists claim that the ambiguity of her expression triggers our brain's uncertainty principle, keeping us perpetually intrigued. Art historians have proposed that her smile may be a result of Leonardo da Vinci's sfumato technique, which subtly blends colors and tones, creating an illusion of depth and volume. This technique may have allowed him to imbue the Mona Lisa with a dynamic expression that seems to change when observed from different angles. A team of scientists using modern technology even suggested that the secret behind her smile lies in her eyes. They argue that da Vinci placed tiny numbers and letters within her pupils, possibly a hidden message or a clue to her identity. Others view her smile as a reflection of da Vinci's own personality a testament to his mastery over the human form and his understanding of human emotion. Regardless of the theories, one fact remains. The Mona Lisa's smile has captivated us for over 500 years. It's an enduring testament to da Vinci's genius and a symbol of the timeless allure of art. It invites us to ponder, to question, and to marvel at the human capacity for creativity and expression. The Mona Lisa, a simple portrait of a woman, continues to captivate us, proving that art is indeed a timeless mystery. From a humble beginning to a global sensation, the journey of the Mona Lisa is a testament to the power of art. A testament indeed, as we've witnessed the birth of a masterpiece from the skilled hands of Leonardo da Vinci, a painting that embarked on a voyage of its own, one laden with intrigue, theft, and eventual fame. This enigmatic portrait captured imaginations, stirring an enduring fascination that transcends centuries. The rise to stardom of this iconic piece of art was nothing short of phenomenal, as it graced the halls of esteemed establishments, becoming a symbol of the Renaissance and the subject of countless studies and interpretations. Yet, the true legacy of the Mona Lisa lies in her enigmatic smile, a detail that continues to captivate and puzzle viewers, artists, and scholars alike. This singular aspect has solidified the painting's place in the annals of artistic history. Next time you see the Mona Lisa, remember, you're not just looking at a painting, you're witnessing history.